Hey, this is Harold Nixon with HaroldNixon.com. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about effects tracks. So I'll give you an example here. Uh, we'll pull up the mixer here. Okay, and turn off some of that junk. Let's say, let's look here on the banjo here. Okay, I'm going to pull this up. Well, all right, there we go. Okay, now you can customize the way this looks. This will probably look different on yours. This is Cubase 5, by the way. And uh, on the Cubase, uh, it, this works the same way on Cubase 4. Uh, also on um, the light versions, Cubase LE 5 and LE 4. Uh, now, the one thing you probably, I don't think in the light version you get uh, the sin rounding, which is kind of neat. But, um, don't freak out if this doesn't totally look the same. It's basically the same things. You can customize the way this looks by right-clicking and choose Customizing View. You can turn on different things here. Uh, so that'll just let you know. You can compare yours to this and see what's what. But this is the way I've got mine set up here. So I've got my inserts over on the left, and then we've got their EQs. And then I've got my sins, and then I've got my sin routing, which is basically the panning and things of the sins. And then I've got my good old channel strip looking thing. Okay. Now, you can, uh, on the inserts, that's the, like a traditional mixer, there's an insert where you normally uh, do uh, dynamics on that, uh, i.e. compression or uh, limiting, something like that of some sort. So now, one of the things people, when they get using Cubase, they wonder about reverbs and stuff like that. And once they start seeing the inserts and everything, uh, I've seen lots of people insert reverbs. With there's nothing wrong with that. You can do that, no problem. Uh, for example, I'll pull up Roomworks SE, which is the lightest version of reverb we've got in Cubase here. So uh, let me check the volume so I don't uh, blow my head off here. I'm working on a dual screen here trying to capture it, so... That's why I'm scrolling back and forth here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and solo this track and just play that. So you can hear our reverb there. Okay, and of course I've got that pan to the right. But we can make it more wet or dry. Now, the deal is we've got it inserted here on one insert. So we would have to go through and put a reverb instance on every channel. Uh, and tweak them, which is fine and dandy. If your computer can handle it, not a problem. Um, and uh, nothing wrong with that, but you lose a little control here, uh, and I'll show you why. You can't EQ the reverb by itself unless it's built in the reverb, nor could you compress the reverb by itself because it's built unless it was built in the reverb. Now I'm going to show you what the effects, what an effects track is. So you can do that multiple ways. Uh, you can right-click on the mixer and choose Add Track and choose Effects Track. You can do it right here on the multi-track choose add track and effects track or project add track effects track so uh, I'll just go ahead and pull up one of them here um, then what you do is you have your configuration these things are self-explanatory here we're gonna we want this in stereo uh, because we want our reverb in stereo now you could choose to do it in mono or surround if you were mixing in surround or something else but since we're just doing a good old stereo thing here we'll choose that then we choose our, our effect now this could be delay, um, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm just for this tutorial. I'm going to do reverbs because that's one of the big things that's always talked about. Okay, we'll hit OK. Now, what I'll show you now. Of course, it did pull up a reverb, but I'll talk about that in just a second. If you go to your multi-track view, you can see here it's added this pinkish purple looking channel. Uh, named effects track uh, and it'll say effects and then the name of the plug in here so I'm just gonna call that verb for right now okay now you should also see it in the mixer view um, if you go over to the very right side there you can see where I've labeled it to verb and it's the uh, different looking color than the other tracks there now uh, if we click the E here the edit channel we'll see it in the first insert roomvergs okay now what I can do is instead of having that uh, this banjo thing here with the reverb inserted over here what I'll do is send to it so I'll uh, choose a blank one what this is here in case anybody's curious is I was doing headphone mixes on a hearback so that's why that's in there normally I can we can have it routed to nothing uh, 
but normally it will show like this if you was working on something blank. And you'd click in the dark blue area here with a left mouse click, and then you could choose whether you wanted to route it to your outputs like you had some different outputs. And as I said, these I had these patched for headphone things. You can have it go into groups, but since we were doing uh, reverbs here, I chose choose verb out of it, which is the one I labeled. Okay, now we have to activate it. So we click that button to activate it. And this is the pre-fade, post-fade toggle button here. So, And you can see it, it changes the little thing on the send routing. So, okay, now I'll uh, solo this and play a dot of it back. And we should have no verb. Now if I turn this up, you can hear the verb coming in there. Okay, now something I want to mention here. I'll go ahead and hit the E button. Basically, that opens up that effects channel reverb, okay? Uh, and it is not set, so it's a good thing. What I want to do is set this wide open wet. Now, you might ask why. Well, the reason is, if I do a bunch of sins going to this effects channel, uh, if it's not 100%, if, if I'm not getting 100% wet here, basically I'm adding more volume to it. So let's say I'm working on this banjo track here, and I want some verb on it, and I shoot it to the verb. Well, every time I add more aux, I'm actually adding, for example, if it's, you know, 46 here. I'm only getting, you know, well, or 50, we'll just say, whatever. So if I'm getting, uh, uh, if I'm sending it there, I'm getting 50% dry and 50% wet. Well, I'm just adding more amplitude to the whole thing. So I want this to be 100% wet because I don't want to turn the volume up on it. I just want more verb. So be sure to set that all the way wet on your effects. Um, okay, so like I say, we can... Okay, so you get, the, you get the idea there. We got the verb rolling. Okay, now, why is this more versatile? Okay, let's go down to the track itself here. We can um, uh, click the E for edit there. And we could edit the reverb right in there just like what we were doing the same way. It's the same thing. But okay. So check this out. We've got our, let me rewind it here. And I've got that solo, and I've got it really dopey wet just for the demo. We can add EQs to the verb. Now notice that's only affecting the verb. That's not affecting the, the uh, uh, track itself. So there, there's a benefit right there already. So if you wanted your verbs brighter or darker and they didn't have it on the EQ or you wanted something a little more sophisticated than the plugin allowed for. That's cool. Now one of my favorite things to do is to compress the reverbs. So you can after the reverb in the channel here or you can choose you can play with it. You could compress the signal before it ever hits the reverb or compress the reverb after depending on where it's at in this chain. So if you wanted it before you'd insert it, insert something before it. If you wanted it after, you could do it after. So let's just say, I'm just going to choose, uh, I like the vintage compressor here. Uh, and you can see it start hitting the compressor. Now the other cool thing is uh, the benefit to this would be, you know, you could go through here uh, uh, if you wanted the same type of reverb. You could bust multiple instruments to this uh, via the sends here. And, uh, but also the cool thing is if you were demoing this stuff and you want to hear it dry again, all you have to do is hit the mute on the effects channel. All your effects are gone. You don't have to go through and just ch -ch 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 disable all those inserts. Uh, plus, if you just wanted it, if you say, man, I just wish the overall thing was a little wetter. All you do is just dump the fader up here and um, do it simple. Uh, another cool th uh, factor to it is, of course, the automation would be easy with the sends too, but it's handy just having it right out there in the open. So